Yo, what up? It's your boy Ant Wright. Do me a favor and hit subscribe. I'll be uploading at least four videos per week. Don't want you missing out on future projects. This is your channel as much as mine. So comment below who or what you want me to break down next. Young Gunner. Right elevates to three. And hits. Man, he looks good, Nike Sabandi, 6'4 shooting guard transfer out of Miami of Ohio. Uh, I'm wondering how a, a kid like this, you know, gets to Miami of, of Ohio outside of high school. I'm thinking. You know, maybe he slipped between the cracks or maybe he just wasn't that good coming out. And I went ahead and watched him film when he was younger. He still had decent bounce, not what he has now. Uh, not the type of explosive player he is now, but uh, you could tell he's developed a lot while in college. And it looks like if you go back to the 2017 class of the state of Indiana, it was a very talented year. So a lot of times when it's saturated like that, uh, very good players like uh, Nike kind of go uh, underscouted and under-recruited. Indiana this year had about 20 kids go Division I. Uh, his NBA comp is going to be Monte Ellis. Uh, scoring guard, right-hand dominant, very quick. Utilizes his first step very, very well. Excels in transition, very good in the up-and-down game. Uh, easily, easily by far the best and most explosive first step that I've seen so far this year. And it's not even close. You have teams baiting him to go left, but he still attacks that, that uh, top foot and gets to wherever he wants to go. Now, this is gonna be his first clip. I only did this because I want you guys to understand his mindset and the type of athlete he is and what he's capable of doing at any point in time. And very rarely you will see a, an alley-oop for a 6'4 guard off of a UCLA curl cut. Uh, the only guards who get that type of pass are, you know, Monte does it. I mean, Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook. If you want to use those as comps too for this kid, uh, you are right on. He played with much better poise this year in comparison to the season prior. The season prior, uh, well over 50% of his shots came from three, like 55, 60%. And his efficiency dropped. Uh, this past year, about 30% of his shots came from three. And of course, his, his efficiency increased. Uh, putting a lot of pressure on defenses by using his athleticism, speed, and strength and not bailing teams out with shooting too many jumpers. I mean, it boded very well for him. Uh, Miami of Ohio this year, they were not that good. Um, he put up around 14 a game, and uh, as the team's leading scorer, uh, it's a little it's a little bit tougher because everybody's defense is geared towards you and geared towards stopping you. Um, he put up around 44, 45% this past year, and if defenses are geared on you like that, uh, that's really not a bad percentage. I would love to see him around a, a more talented group to kind of see where that would take his overall efficiency. His talent is undeniable. I mean, he entered the draft last year. Uh, of course, he withdrew his name. But, you know, there's a reason why once he transferred or once he announced it, that teams like Kentucky called him ASAP. You know, Alabama, Pitt, Creighton, Arkansas, um, high major ball clubs. He was a bit streaky from three, but his shot is not broken. If you look at his uh, uh, free throws, very smooth release. He could be more consistent, of course, but um, but but his shot is not broken at all whatsoever. Uh, average he he averaged a bit more turnovers than assists and that can happen when you when you're on not good teams and you're the primary scorer and you find yourself forcing more times than not